Future Beauty, 30 Years of Japanese Fashion is uh, the first comprehensive survey of fashion from Japan to be shown in Europe. We look at the, the, the key established designers like Miyake Yamamoto and Rei Kawakubo. Uh, we have works representing Junya Watanabe, Tao Kurahara and uh, Jun Takahashi from Undercover as well as um, a, a very new generation of designers, all of whom have launched their labels in the past few years. So it's a great survey from you know, classic pieces from, from the early 80s till now. A lot of people talk about the idea of deconstruction in, in reference to these designers who have gone on to influence people like Hussein Shalayan and Martin Largella um, and Mulemister, for example. Um, but I think it's also about the influence of their attitude. Some of the designers have a very uncompromising um, vision. You know, they, they want to make the work that they want to make and, and they do it. Um, and that's, that's been hugely influential to designers like Alexander McQueen, for example, who took great um, encouragement and confidence from, from people like Rei Kawakubo and her approach to really forging you know, new, new ground and new territory in, in, in the world of fashion. It's just a really nice collection to see it all together and the influences and how they work with fabric and textiles. I've always been a fan of Tokyo, Japanese culture, um, I suppose going to St. Martin's, these were the books that were always the most used and photocopied. Some of the works have never been seen before in the UK. Um, some of the pieces in, in the Kyoto Costume Institute's collection are the, the only pieces in, in archives around the world. So it's a great privilege to be able to show them and it's really exciting for people to really experience the, the materiality of, of the work. And that's why it's very exciting to have all those pieces here. So the, the tactile nature of the work is, um, is best seen in the flesh. My favourite. Japanese design, it has to be Yoji. Um, but yeah, it's amazing to see it all in the flesh. When it comes uh, to more present day, um, all the sort of cute comic characters and things, I also um, am influenced by. And I love colour, so I think it has to be all the different uh, red lantern dresses. Future Beauty. It sort of hints at what was the future of beauty back then, but also what could become the future of beauty with the new generation moving forward. I just love seeing the whole Japanese mind, the way Rei or Issei think. They think of things folding and they think of it out flat, and then it comes out and it produces this marvellous movement and folds that could only be Japanese. I think it's a must for people to see, it's a fabulous exhibition.